Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, my dear brothers and sisters. Today we are going to read the book of Genesis. In Genesis chapter 1, the book of the Bible opens with the account of creation. It describes how God created the universe and all its living creatures in six days. Here's the beginning of chapter 1, verses 1 to 2. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. This sets the scene for the creation story, with God being the all-powerful creator. Verses 3 to 5. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. This describes the first day of creation, where God created light and separated it from darkness. Verses 6 to 8. Then God said, Let there be a space between the waters, to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. And that is what happened. God called the space sky. This describes the second day of creation, where God created the sky and separated it from the waters. Verses 9 to 13. Then God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place, so dry ground may appear. And that is what happened. God called the dry ground land and the water seas. Then God said, Let the land sprout with vegetation, every sort of seed-bearing plant, and trees that grow seed-bearing fruit. These seeds will then produce the kinds of plants and trees from which they came. This describes the third day of creation, where God created the land, seas, and vegetation. Verses 14 to 19. Then God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. Let them be signs to mark the seasons, days, and years. Let these lights in the sky shine down on the earth. And that is what happened. God made two great lights, the larger one to govern the day, and the smaller one to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth. This describes the fourth day of creation, where God created the sun, moon, and stars. Verses 20 to 23. Then God said, Let the water swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that scurries and swarms in the water, and every sort of bird, each producing offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. This describes the fifth day of creation, where God created sea creatures and birds. Verses 24 to 31. Then God said, Let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind, livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and wild animals. And that is what happened. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock, and small animals, each able to produce offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make human beings in our image, to be like ourselves. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, man and woman. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Then God said, Look, I have given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given every green plant as food for all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, and the small animals that scurry along the ground everything that has life. And that is what happened. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. And evening passed and morning came, marking the sixth day. The meaning of Genesis chapter 1 is multifaceted, but a few key themes emerge. First, it emphasizes the power and creativity of God as the source of all life and the natural world. It also emphasizes the order and purpose of creation, with each day of creation building upon the previous one to culminate in the creation of humanity. Additionally, it emphasizes the unique role and responsibility of humans as stewards of creation, given authority over the other creatures and tasked with caring for the earth. Overall, the message of Genesis chapter 1 is that the world was intentionally created by God, and it has a purpose and a design. The chapter suggests that the world is not random or chaotic, but rather it has a meaning and a direction. Moreover, the chapter implies that the world has potential for growth, development, and flourishing and that this potential is inherent in the very fabric of the universe. In essence, Genesis 1 presents a vision of the world as a place of beauty, wonder, 
and possibility, where every aspect of creation has a role to play in a larger story of divine purpose and providence. In our next video, we will see Genesis chapter 2. Till then continue in faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.